What up guys, Old School Dan here, checking in with the vlog. My hair looks super messy right now, so I had to go and just like, just make it look somewhat decent so I don't look like crap on camera. Ah, oh, it looks so much better. These little fruits are cold. I'm gonna have some ham and some whole wheat bread. It is toasting right now. I'm gonna cook this ham up on the stove. I am also going to be taking one scoop of my Vinstrana protein powder, ultra muscle density 92% milk and egg protein. I'm gonna take one scoop along with my creatine right here. And I'm gonna pour some milk. Again, I keep it old school. Milk, eggs, you know, creatine. Even Vistrana recommends creatine as well. But uh, my ham is like burning up over there, so I'm gonna just take this off real quick. And, but yeah, guys, if you wanna get this for yourself, it's pretty good tasting to come out with the chocolate flavor and a bunch of other incredible old school products very, very soon. But if you wanna get this for yourself, you can use my discount code OLDSCHOOLDAN20. I gotta be promoting something that I believe in, and this is something I believe in because I love old school bodybuilding. Two pieces of fruit, three pieces of ham, one slice of whole wheat toast, toasted, and my super old school bodybuilding shake. You're gonna enjoy this breakfast. You're on the couch? Layla, stop messing with my dog, dude. Precious. Layla, stop. Leave her alone. Layla, this is my girl. Precious. Layla, st stop. Precious is my girl. My sister's on the couch, covering herself. So I haven't talked a lot about my prep, but here it goes. Now, I've been prepping for about maybe two, three weeks now. Contest is in like about two weeks. Been carb cycling, been training six days a week, higher volume, getting in my protein, definitely a lot more calories, getting my posing in, working on my posing, doing cardio, like literally lots of like, you know, usual prep stuff. It hasn't been this, I mean, the sessions are definitely a lot tougher, but nothing I can't, nothing I can't handle. Eating is nothing I can't handle either. Like I can eat a lot of food and have no problem with it. Cardio is kind of like the most boring part. I hate that part, like doing, like getting on the treadmill for like 20 minutes. It just gets really boring and tiring. Sometimes my, like my really low carb days are like the worst because it feels like I'm on the cardio machine for like an hour, even though it's like 20 minutes. Other than that, it's going pretty smooth. I think that thing that I'm having most trouble with is like the posing because I've, you know, you guys see me pose, but I usually never work on my posing. Like I never, I've never actually done regular bodybuilding poses where it's like they're mandatory poses, like back double biceps, you know, while also flexing your hamstrings and your calves like from like back lat you know back lat spread like I've, i'm having a difficult time with those because it's like it's been a long time since i'm actually you know engaged hamstrings and and calves in like videos or like posing in general so it's just that's the that's the part i'm having the most the most difficult time with shit hurts like specifically the back double biceps is something i never really do i do like a three-quarter back pose like Arnold schwarzenegger but never like a back double bicep where i just hold it like my back just cramps up so hard when i do a back double bicep just cramps it so hard. That one's like, oh my god, it's like it's like an orgasm that goes into my head and like it's painful and it's like, oh my god, and like it felt kind of good too. So that one, that one's painful as heck. But yeah, everything else is going pretty smooth. Just having a little difficult time because I'm like juggling my purpose with you know something I want to do. So I'm trying to like you know balance out the two, finding that a little bit difficult because like I have stuff that I'm supposed to be getting done, but it's not getting done, and like. I mean, that's the only part that I'm having a, a, like trouble with as well. Balance now what I need to be getting done and what I want to be getting done. So yeah, I, would th I was thinking about doing another show, like an actual show, like in person, not like an online one. Like this is a show as well, but I would like to do something that's like in person, you know, where I actually have to commit and like spend lots of money and things on, you know what I mean? Right now, I'm gonna work on a video and I could show you a little bit about how I do it too. Yeah, so this is pretty much where I film, like I'm sitting at my desk with my computer plugged in my Mike, and I'm about to film a video right now. This one's all about legendary training secrets, better than steroids. <laughs> all right, guys, here we go back again with another demonstration video. Frank Zane's form superset. So this is something that I something that I picked up from the. I was gonna show you the full version of that video, but I'm like, nah, it doesn't make sense to just add to the vlog. It's just like you'll see it on the, on my YouTube channel when I upload it. So I just want to show you a little bit of the magic behind the scenes. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah, gonna film the front part of it because I always like to film like the auto version, and then like I take you know an introduction from the front. I'm gonna film that part right now. Yo, what up, guys? Old school Dan here, back in back. Damn it! That see without being ah oh, without being said, I'll see you in the. Oh my freaking! Without being said. I'll see you in the, I can't say it. With that being said, I'll see you in the demonstration part of the video. <laughs> okay, I was gonna be showing you a little bit of my current shape right now. So since the lighting's like so damn terrible, and my phone doesn't want to adjust, I'll show you like piece by piece. I'll show you like the quads and the calves and I'll show you upper body next. So this is 
I'd say it was just leggings. My legs were freaking exhausted, man. So, quads, <clears throat> getting some good separation of the quads. Knee bend, knee bend. So I decided to get myself a little snack. This is 250 grams of Greek yogurt with one apple. These apples are so, ugh, get that off there. These apples are so good. They're like tarty and they're chewy and crunchy. Like I love the Granny Smith apples. Oh, oh my gosh, this is so good. I love when apples are like sour. Like they just oh, so good. It's like eating candy. It's like eating a sour patch almost to me. Oh, I hate, I hate freaking like sweet apples. Oh my God. Like, Mind you, applesauce. Like I like apple. I like applesauce. Like all you know, I like applesauce sometimes, but nah. Like and, and like regular apples. No, I don't. I hate sweet apples, man. So gross. So gross. But yeah, I love these apples. Gonna enjoy this snack and drink some water and then go back to working on my course. I right, got myself cleaned up. I'm gonna be going somewhere later on with my sister. You know, for my friend's birthday party. Um, got myself a ham sandwich, whole grain. Wheat bread, two slices, some mustard under there, two slices of lean ham, and a glass of water. So go enjoy this. All right, so right here I got my my spaghetti. They're noodles with ground beef, lean, really lean ground beef and sauce. Two slices of toast, no, literally one slice of toast cut in half, and a glass of juice. Now people would be like, "Wow, that's not really a clean meal." But like, guys, if like Reg Park was able to get freaking jacked and like come into that shape without a contest while still eating like lots of good food and eating, eating like a king, like come on. Like why can't I? Like, like the whole dirty bulk thing and clean food eating is another topic I'll save for another video, but you know, eating clean doesn't have to be hard. Like some people's issues is that, okay, maybe I'm not eating clean enough as to why I'm not seeing results, but how can people like, you know, like Christian Guzman can eat like almost absolute shit, but still be in good shape. And I, you know, some part of me still believes that he's natural. But I know there's a lot of people who do eat like crap and are natural, but end up eating being in great shape. And this is because all the they know the knowledge of macros, they know how to read a nutrition label, and this is pretty much the solution that you don't always have to eat cleaner. You just got to learn how to read a nutrition label, master macros, and once you do, all this becomes so simple. All right, so it's my garage. I've got the cream on, breaking out a lot lately. I don't know why, but. I'm thinking about what type of carbs to eat because it's already 12 and a lot of people tend to like think okay well it's 12 you know F it like I already messed up but my last prep that's how you know I wasn't like that and I'm still not like that where it's like if it's 12 do I have to pretty much just stop eating and say oh F the macros I didn't hit them sorry you know some people teach you that yeah but I'm not like that I'm like you know what I'm gonna still hit them so like I still have like a hot 150 carbs to go I don't know what I'm gonna do to fill it in, but I'm gonna fill it in somehow. Ugh. Ugh. I'm tired too, man. Ugh. Ah, oh, Jesus. I gotta get in. I did the uh, elliptical for like 15 minutes. I did that. And then, um, snap. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my food in, whatever I can. I'll probably show you that. I think I said I was going to show you a bunch of stuff, but I ended up not showing you just because, like, earlier I totally forgot about the beach, and then I totally forgot about Golden Road. Literally, I just show up, and I guess I'm super present in that moment where it's like, I don't think about anything else other than what I'm doing in that moment. So that's sort of why this is happening, where it's like, I said I'm going to show you something, and then I ended up not showing you just because I'm doing something. You know what I mean? So I ended up going with three cups of Raisin Bran and two cups of lactose from, lactose from milk. So... This is it. Mmm. Sorry, I got my hand on the way. 
But, like, I had to get in a bunch of carbs. My sister's here. I had to get in a bunch of carbs and a bunch of protein. And it's late at night. And I can't be up still cooking rice and ground beef and whatnot. But it was just a really busy day. Like, I got a bunch of stuff done. Last few days, I've been feeling like crap because I wasn't getting done when I was supposed to be getting done. So, like, when I do, don't. So, when I don't get done when I'm supposed to be getting done, I feel like, you know, useless. I'm kind of like not living to my highest purpose and, you know, giving my greatest gifts. So, I don't, it makes me angry. So, but today, it felt good. I got a lot of stuff done. Bless you. You're welcome. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the protein shake when I take it. And she came home with it now. And it was done. What? It's a log. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the protein shake when I make it, and I'm gonna hit the hay. Like literally, there's nothing else gonna be going on to that. Like it's time for night night. Like I tell my dogs, it's time for bedtime. All right, guys, about to check out. About to kill the night. Got my protein shake all mixed up. Got my Geronda shake again. If you want to use, if you want to get this protein for yourself, I get a 20% discount. Use my code Old School Dan 20. Link is in the description. Pretty good tasting protein. I love it. I love the fact that it's so old school. And I'm almost out of it. I think I'm like a quarter of the way through already so far. But yeah, I'm gonna drink the shake, mix it up, drink it, and follow, just finally just fall back asleep because I am freaking exhausted and I can probably, you can probably tell in my voice and in my energy that I'm just like tired. So that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.